so you guys get the full effect. It looks like something you buy from H&M or like Versace or something like that. Like, look at this. It looks really, really good. It's, you can, look, you can see my fingers through there. Look at that. What's up everybody, it's your boy Alan Wade back again with another awesome video with our Sawgrass SG500. If you haven't bought yours yet, I encourage you use my heat transfer warehouse link down below this video in the description section to purchase yours today and follow along with these videos because I'm gonna tell you exactly how to use this bad boy. And I'm also going to tell you now that I've lived with it for a little while, what to expect, it's ups and it's down. But before we get into it, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, we're working on sublimation and we're getting to it, and I'm loving it so far in the process. But, okay, the SG600 drawbacks. I'm gonna tell you right now. The software, is a little bit clunky. The part of the software that's uh, clunky to me is the um, the communication between, when you're using it Wi-Fi, the communication between the software that's available online and the actual machine, the unit, is a little bit clunky and sluggish. As a matter of fact, it's not a little bit, it's a lot clunky and a lot sluggish but once it works once you get it to work um, the results that you achieve with this machine are absolutely awesome um, it's the first time i'm doing it i really don't have anything to compare it to but we'll get into that um later on maybe next month maybe in upcoming videos but right now we're just going into this sg500 because i'm really loving it so far all right so um like this video if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, and um, without further ado guys, let me tell you guys exactly what we're doing right here. I have our eight and a half by 14 inch paper loaded into the tray right here. Let me show you guys how long this paper is. It's eight and a half by 14, not the eight and a half by 11 that we were using before. So this is a little bit longer so we can get some more media on the sheet, and I'm going to attempt to print out another design and this is the first time I'm printing this design out, guys. But initially, I didn't know how to use the larger format paper um, on the machine because it was only printing out 8.5 by 11, which is a standard size. But U.S. letter, U.S. letter, yeah, U.S. letter is the 8.5 by 14 size. So that's the setting that you have to select on the printer. But I'm going to get into all that later. Let's just turn this stuff around and let's ramp this video up and show you, let's get into the software and let's get into what I think is kind of clunky. Also guys, make sure you guys stay tuned because I am gonna work on that, um, how to connect this thing to your house's Wi-Fi and how to get this thing to talk to your computer because it is, like I said, a little bit clunky. So that's what you have to expect and I believe that that is key into um, understanding how this thing works and how to get it to work because Initially, you'll think the thing is not working. You'll think it's broken. You think that like something's wrong, but it just takes a long time like to communicate. Like when you press send to print, it just takes a long time. When I say it takes a long time, it's kind of a, I don't wanna say it's pathetic, but it's, it's <laughs> Sawgrass really needs to address this issue. It's, um, it's 2020, it doesn't, it shouldn't take that long, but um, let's get into it. All right, everybody, before we jump into it again, don't forget, visit the merch store at www.allenaway.com. Buy yourself some channel merch like this to help support the channel and other items that I have for those of you guys who are interested in embroidery stuff. I have a bunch of new files on there, so check those files out, guys, real fast. And if you're shopping on Amazon, don't forget to use my Amazon link down in the description below. Just click the link to navigate to Amazon, and once you're at Amazon, you can navigate away from that item that the link was for and purchase anything that you want through my link. And it helps the channel out a lot. I get a small commission. You don't have to pay anything extra, and that helps me out. This much. 
Maybe even more than that. It helps me out that much. I can't, I can't twist my arms around that far, but it helps me out that much. So use my link, give this video a thumbs up. Let me jump into this interface. You see our Sawgrass SG500 standing right here, standing by, ready to go. We're all connected to the internet. The Wi-Fi is, thing is not on right now, but I'm a little concerned about that, but it should be fine. Should be on standby, but um, we're gonna jump into our computer. I'm gonna show you this design which is also gonna be available on alanawade.com. So check it out, all right? Let's jump into it. All right, guys, fun fact, observation I just made. Um, when I turned on my computer, um, the Wi-Fi button, the Wi-Fi light came on on the uh, Sawgrass machine, which is interesting. Just want to point that out, guys. So when you want to start working on stuff, you're going to go to sawgrassinc.com and you're gonna go up here to Creative Studio, you're gonna click, click on Creative Studio. Now, I'm gonna show you two things real fast. Um, you're gonna start creating, right? You're gonna start creating, and for those of you guys that wanna create a shirt, you can hit the clothing template, right? Hit the clothing template, and go ahead down, navigate to the shirt that you want, which is the men's solar short sleeve shirt. All right, get that. Now, as of right now, I have not found a way to increase this little border right here to make your design bigger than that. But I'm assuming that that's how big that Sawgrass wants your thing to be. I don't know. I, it, it, to me, it seems like you should be able to click on this and make this bigger or smaller, but it seems like there's no way to adjust it. Even when I go here to objects, um, it doesn't give me, there's no objects on here. It doesn't give me uh, an option to adjust the sizing of this right here all right it doesn't look if i put extra large double xl it doesn't give me the option to um to, to to change the the size of this grid which i think it should personally but it's okay so say for example you want to add an image to this is what i recommend you guys do i recommend that you guys uh Create your image in like Photoshop, Illustrator, or another program and bring your image in because that's the most effective. That's the way you're going to get the most stuff. I've never even experimented with making a design in here, but you can. We'll jump into that maybe on another video, but for right now, let's use a created image. So you're going to go to galleries and you're going to go to your images. So under my images, you see all of my images that I have. If you want to add images, you can just click on your gallery, right? You can go to... Wait a minute, let me go back real fast. Galleries, you can go to images, and you can go to right here where it says upload. You can go to upload, and you can just click that link right there, click that button right there, and you can navigate and up, up import images that you have on your computer. All right, so we don't need that. Um, so we're gonna work with this image right here. Click it once, wait for a little while, it opens up. All right, but of course I want my image to, what if I want my image to cover more of that shirt, right? So I'm, I can make it bigger, I can scale it up, but as you can see, it's outside of the border area. It's outside of the air border area. So it's only gonna print in this, this mode right here. It's only gonna print like within that little square. I mean, you can do, do it like that, but what I found, I found another way to do it um, because like I said, I'm working on I'm working with 18 and a half by 14 inch paper. So I wanna print on an 18 and a half by 14 inch paper. So I'm gonna trash this right here and I'm gonna go back to blank products. Just go to design canvases, right? And US legal paper, US legal, legal paper grid is what it's called. Legal paper grid, click on that. And look, right up here it says eight and a half by 14. So I'm gonna use that. You can use that and it'll be the same effect. It'll be the same effect. You just print out on an eight and a half by 14 and you can transfer that to a shirt. You don't have to use a shirt template. It makes more sense. So boom, galleries, my images, click it one time, boom. All right, now my image is on there and now I can make this a little bit larger because I want it to be large. I want to take up the whole canvas. So I'm just making this larger. Uh, of course, I'm gonna convert this to inches and you can also go down here and just hit the scale instead of grabbing the grab handles, scale it up a little bit, scale it up. Now it takes up the whole thing and that works for me. Looks good to me. All right, now, this is the part where I want you guys to pay attention, okay? Because this is the part that, that 
is kind of like mind boggling to me. And this is the product that Sawgrass, you guys need to work on this. Um, my system is connected and I want it to work Wi-Fi. I want my Sawgrass to be able to sit over there, over here, over here. Less cords is just better, right? So watch this guys, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna press print, right? I'm gonna press print and let's see how long it takes for print manager to open. Cause there's like two print managers. There's like a print manager pre, I call it print manager pre and the other one is the official print manager because nothing prints until you get the second screen. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Let me show you. I press print, all right? And that opens up right away, which is great, okay? And the Sawgrass printer right here, where it says Sawgrass printer, guys, you want this to say ready. If it, if it says offline, like this one says offline, nothing's going to happen. It's never going to print, all right? So if this doesn't say ready, then you might as well forget about it. You're not, you, you have to get to the step, to, to, you have to get the, the interface to recognize that the printer is available to print. I'm gonna make a video on that. I don't know, maybe tomorrow, definitely by next week, I'm gonna make a video on that because that part right here will like just throw everything off and you'll be so frustrated, just like I was, but I figured it out. But I want to make this video first, but I'll get there, all right? So use my Sawgrass, my heat transfer warehouse link down below to purchase your machine. You're gonna, it's, it's worth it. It's just a few, things, a few kinks need to be worked out, all right? So boom, Sawgrass. Tray one, there's only one tray. Paper size, US legal. US legal is the eight and a half by 14. All right, M product material, you wanna go to polyester because that's what we're transferring it to. Um, the type of uh, paper that we're using is text print R, which is, it says it on our thing right here. Um, text print R, got the eight and a half by 11. And heat transfer warehouse sent us this also, which is the eight and a half by eight and a half by 11, and this is the eight and a half by 14. They sent, sent both of these to, to us. So uh, everybody in comment section say, thank you Heat Transfer Warehouse for sending us this great stuff. All right, all right, so this is what I want you guys to pay attention to. All right, I'm going to press print right now. Watch how long this takes for the print manager to, to open up. Watch this, watch this. All right, I'm gonna, Tilt the camera a little bit so you guys can see me press print in real time. Let me switch, can I switch the focus while? No, I can't. All right, so watch this, I'm gonna press print. Print pressed, let's time it. All right. All right. All right. This is very, very not instant. Very not instant, and this isn't even the printer the, the, the software talking to the machine, it's the software talking to the software. Print has been successfully queued, press okay. All right, now nothing's gonna happen guys. You gotta sit here, right, like right now is the part where you'll sit here and you'll be like, well something's wrong, nothing's happening, right? But you're actually waiting for um, a print manager screen to open up. Look how long this is taking. You're thinking like something, like you did something wrong or it isn't working or something's not right or you're thinking something, right? I know I would be. Yeah, we're still waiting. Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. Now right now you're gonna press, see, look at that. Right now you were gonna press print again because you thought something was wrong, but look, see what I'm saying? It finally popped up. That, that, was, that, that is a problem. It should not take that long, but it's okay because like I said, once it works, it works good. All right, so now notice a warning. One or more jobs do not fit with the current page layout settings. Okay, so when you're printing with larger paper, you have to go to layout and you have to change this right here from eight and a half by 11 to eight and a half by 14. Now, when you change it, that message goes away, your media loads up on the side, everything's fine. Now, what I want you guys to know is because they did kind of try to address the issue, I think, with it taking so long to print, because you can go over here to the jobs tab, and if you know that you're gonna wanna print out more than one of these, now's the time where you're gonna wanna tell the printer that you wanna print out more than one because 
other than that, it's gonna take a really, really long time. You'll see when I press print, you'll see how long it takes to send the design for print. It's not very conducive to time, <laughs> all right? So um, I'm just gonna print out one for right now, all right? So we're gonna go back to material, make sure everything's right, polyester, text print R, high quality. Yeah, everything's fine, okay? So now we're going to press print. And let's, once again, let's time and see how long it takes this to get over here. Print. Did I press it? Yeah, I did press it, okay. All right, we've pressed print. Let's see how long the SG500 takes to, um, this should not, I should be just showing you guys how to use this thing. This should not be something, see? Okay, alert. Now, you got another alert. I wanna show you guys this, okay? I'm gonna show this to you guys because this is something else that you're going to have to address. And this is something that I think once you change it in here, it should automatically change it in the printer, but it doesn't, all right? So this is something else that you're gonna to have to, um, to, to, it's another hurdle you gotta jump over. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Now guys, do not get discouraged because I did and that's why I'm making this video. It seems like there's a lot of issues, but there actually isn't. And like I said, I'm new to this, so there's probably other ways of doing this that I don't know about. But for the most part, if I was still printing on eight and a half by 11, I, we wouldn't have any of these issues, but I'm trying to print on larger paper, so I'm running into these issues and I'm showing you guys the workaround, all right? so. See, it has an alert and it won't print. So I'm gonna hit escape so the screen can come on. It says change tray one to the following settings, custom size IJ plane. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. What the heck does that mean? So I figured it out. So you go to change. Okay, you go to tray one, press okay. And then eight and a half by 14, that's fine right well, at least i would think that's fine right programmed and now you go to paper type right and now instead of plain paper you go down to which one inkjet paper ij yeah ij right programmed and let's escape and see if that works no, the machine is still up there. You know why? Because it wants you to go to custom size and it wants you to change to a custom size on the um, actual paper setting. So change, all right? Hit the change button. And paper size, go all the way down. All the way down. I wonder if it will work if I hit A4. I'm not gonna try it, but because I know how to, I, I got it to work on under custom size, eight and a half, right? Eight point five zero. Press OK. Four by fourteen. Press OK. All right. Now watch what happens when I escape. Escape. Isn't that something, guys? Isn't that something? Like, isn't that something? I don't know if that's something to you, but that's something to me. So now let's see how long it takes to print. Once it starts to print, it prints out pretty fast, guys. So I hope you guys saw that, everything that I did, but it works. It works, it works good. And the results are great when it comes out on a shirt, but there's a few minor hiccups that you have to, you have to face, all right? It's just, it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? And anyway, anybody knows when printing with a printer, when working with a printer, there's always stuff that you go through because let's face it, printer, dealing with printers are, is, is just difficult with different paper sizes and different this and different, different that. It's, at least to me, it's difficult anyway. But right now, I'm noticing that the design looks very, very, very dull. And we're used to that because that's what happens with sublimation. The designs come out looking dull. And then when you transfer it, it pops. But, you know, we'll see. All right. So it's got the border around it. It's printing out. It looks good. It's printing out on a whole sheet. And for it to be a whole sheet, I'm gonna tell you, it kinda, it printed out pretty good for it to be a whole sheet, all right? So check it out, let's check it out, let's take it out. All right, look at that. Looks good, looks good. 
All right? We got our whole sheet printed out. Now that is that is pretty much the video for today. Um, I'm gonna press it right now in a second, so stick around for that. But I felt like making that part of video is gonna be very, very helpful for a lot of people that get this machine or a lot of people that have this machine and probably have it sitting on the shelf because they can't figure out how to make it work. But um, sometimes manufacturers, like I won't say sometimes, a lot of the times, the majority of things that I buy, it seems like manufacturers like kind of like leave you hanging and you don't know how to like operate the equipment. So I think the reason why I'm making this video is because I think this this is, very very helpful to a lot of people because it would have been to me all right so i just showed you how to get it to print on eight and a half by 14 inch paper um and after you do it once you pretty much know how to do it so let's get the heat press heated up and let's uh press this all right guys i should have told you guys this like days ago i apologize deeply deeply apologize but as we're talking right now heat transfer house is having a sale this is the countdown to how much time you have left to take advantage of the sale. I can't focus the camera. I'll show you, I'll show you guys my screen. But there's literally four hours right now as I'm making the video. As you guys are watching it, it's probably like one hour left. It says the sale ends at 4.30 p.m. Um, central time. So uh, it's 10% off of Ombre Pattern HTV um, adhesive. So use my heat transfer house link down below navigate to the ombre pattern and see if it's something that you guys are interested you guys get all get 10 percent off so check it out all right sorry that uh i didn't tell you guys this sooner but um it's like a tie-dye type of interesting type of effect it looks good it looks good so uh check that out and hopefully you didn't miss out on a sale it's four hours left as i'm making this video most likely when i get this edited and uploaded it's probably be like one hour left so act fast all right sorry 380 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm actually gonna turn it up to about 70 seconds because I found that when you press it a little bit longer, you kinda wanna leave it at 60 seconds, guys, but it seems to me like when you press it just a little bit longer, the colors transfer better or transfer more. It's kind of a weird type of thing. So we got our guild in. Um, extra large performance 100% polyester shirt. I love these polyester shirts. It's, this is all new to me because I'm normally printing, um, transferring stuff to uh, just 100% cotton. And I love the quality of these polyester shirts, 100% polyester shirts. They're just, they're just better. So I'm gonna prep my shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in that's supposed to be in. I'm supposed to use a uh, butcher paper and put it on the inside, which which is a step I normally always forget. So while it's heating up, I'm just getting everything prepared. Put it on the inside of the shirt between the uh, back side and the side that you're transferring to. The reason being is because sublimation, it can leak through. It, it will leak through and it will get on the back side of the garment and you don't want that. So make sure you guys are using a piece of butcher paper to block, block it so it doesn't, doesn't um, leak through. So I got it, as you guys can see, on the other side and my transfer is going to go on top of this and before I press I'm going to put this another piece of butcher paper on top so it doesn't transfer to the platen but that's the way you got to do it guys once again give this video a thumbs up if you haven't given it a thumbs up already if you found any information that I'm giving you guys useful let me know because having technology and being able to get the technology is great and everything but getting it to you to work I'm telling you guys let me know if, if I'm the only one. Let me, let, Silhouette Cameo 4, every piece of equipment has got its issues, it's got its drawback, but it's just every industry, everything that you do, there's just something, there's just some hurdle that you're gonna have to jump over, all right? It's always gonna be something, all right? Let me put this aside right now. It's always gonna be something, so if you're in business, just learn how to use the equipment, deal with it, learn better ways of doing it, and you're gonna be successful. Um, these are things that you have to do, you know what I mean? So use my heat transfer warehouse link and buy some of this, buy uh, this Sawgrass SG500, and you, you guys will see what I'm talking about. I just gave you how to get it to work, all right? And that's like the hard part. I spent days. You guys haven't seen me uploading Sawgrass videos back to back because I'm trying to think like, I can tell you guys, to, to purchase this thing, but it's gonna be a headache for you guys to use it. So I gotta get you guys to learn how to use it easier 
so you guys won't be coming back here and say, yo, you told me to buy this machine. What the heck? I'm having all these problems working it. So you won't have that issue. These videos right here are very, very important. Before I even get into just pressing stuff back to back and printing stuff out back to back, and you, you, get, you gotta learn the basics first. When you, once you learn the basics, then we're gonna get into design after design after design after design, all right? So stay tuned for that. Let's let this thing heat up, and I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take this moment, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a whole lot. Thank you. All right guys, we're all heated up and we are going to put our shirt on our heat press right here. Got a surprise coming up for you guys, by the way. Uh, not gonna reveal anything else, that's all I'm gonna say. But make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe for that. Have the post notification bells on for the surprise. But anyway, um, it's not gonna come for a while. Guys, I hope this video, right, this video does not deter you from this sublimation printer, all right? I hope it does not, because let's face it, let's be real here. Every single piece of equipment you've ever purchased has something that you did not anticipate, a hurdle that you did not anticipate jumping over, right? And this is no different I'll tell you what the difference is. The difference is you have me to explain to you exactly how to jump through that hurdle so that it does not affect your business. All right, so that is the difference. So that should not be a deterrent, all right? So I'm gonna press it once real fast to get the moisture out and we're gonna go ahead and go on for our long press, all right? Got the moisture out and now we're gonna lay it down I'm gonna stand over it, so I'm gonna eyeball it. This is one of the reasons why I wish I had a um, a uh, press with a slide out drawer, guys. I wish, I wish, I wish. But we'll get there, we'll get there, guys. All right, so boom, boom, line this up. Looks good, eyeballing it. Looks good to me. We're gonna put it about right there, All right? And one thing about these um, polyester shirts, guys, it's hard to line it up because the shirt is so soft and silky. All right, so that looks good. All right, so we're gonna put our Teflon paper sheet on top of it. All right. Bring it down just a smidgen. Put our Teflon sheet on top of it and we're gonna go ahead and give it a press. All right. If I had that slide out tray, we would be able to avoid everything, avoid all this, all right? So, boom, got it down, guys. Wish me luck, let's see how it comes out. See how it comes out. Real time right here, real time. Playing with the camera while we are recording, guys. So yeah, um, I'm going to make that video. <sighs> by, by Wednesday at the latest, how to connect the uh, Sawgrass SG500 to, um, to Wi-Fi, all right? Just, so just stick around. And you guys are gonna like, you guys can figure it out yourselves because you, you're smart, but um, it's, it's, it's a video that it's a, it's a must, ha must have, must see, all right? It's gonna make your process a whole lot simpler, but there, Sawgrass does have a video online for it on the website, but it's kind of, it's kind of difficult to follow along because she, I think the machine that she's working with in the video is a little bit different and they like change the menu around a little bit. So it's past 60 seconds right now. So we're about to be done. Let me zoom in for you guys a little bit and we're done. Let me pull the handle up. Hopefully we didn't burn the shirt. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna let it cool just for a second. And as you guys can see, unlike vinyl, right? Unlike vinyl, um, this is just sitting on top of the shirt. So it's not like you gotta peel it off. You just move it and boom, there you go. Look how vibrant, look at the color. Look at the color. Just cause I pressed it, uh, held it on there a little bit longer. <sighs> Let me show you. Guys, look at how this thing pops. Look at this, look at this. It's embedded into the fabric. It's not like, it's like, anything on top of it or anything. It's just on there. Let me take this out. Let you guys get the full effect. 
it looks like something you buy from H&M or like Versace or something like that. Like, look at this. It looks really, really good. It's, you can, look, you can see my fingers through there. Look at that. Look, that's how nice these um, polyester shirts are and they last. You can wash them a million times. And look how nice the design came out. This is what we wanted, guys. This is what we've been searching for. All right, look at the back. Look at the back. It's just how it's supposed to be. Um, whoever invented sublimation deserves an award, some type of an award. I don't know what award they deserve, but they deserve an award. I mean, look at this. Look at it. It's like inside of the material. I love it. I love it, guys. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is my absolute favorite way of making shirts. Cameo 4 is cool and all, but this trumps it by far. This trumps the Cameo 4 by far. But, you know, it's still it's still an option, guys. We got we got options, and that's that's one of the things that uh that's 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 cool because we got all this technology available to us to make some extra extra cash. All right, so we got options. Um, so this is this makes it all worth it when you get something that looks like this. It makes it all worth it once you get it to work, which I've gotten it to work, and you will get it to work, and we'll be working together. Once you get it to work and do it like two or three times, you boop 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 boop. boop. All those little minor hiccups will be nothing, all right? So, yeah, use my link down below to purchase your SG500 today. All right, guys, that's it for the video. I hope, like I said, this video didn't doesn't deter you from buying this, but I gotta be honest, I don't care who gets upset, what manufacturer, what um, what brand gets upset, because I have to, I, you guys' trust is more important to me than selling anything. I gotta let you guys know how to work this stuff. I gotta let you know all the mistakes, all the, all the stuff that you're gonna go through when you buy this equipment, and I'm gonna give you the real, okay? And that, to getting that to work is, is a task. But once you get it to work and you understand what everything does, like water you'll be making stuff like this like water and it seems like a little bit overexposed let me turn down my light right here so you guys can see it there we go now you guys can see it right see so, so yeah but you guys's trust is more important to me than selling anything so i'm going to continue to give you guys exactly what it is and the problems that you have the problems that you're going to run into and let me know what you guys think about it let me know if you guys appreciate it but like I said, once you get it to work, it's not hard. It's not a real headache. It's just initially, it's not that user friendly, but, and it's something that eventually I guess they'll work on, but sometimes companies need to make a little bit more money so they can maybe hire some people to work at Apple or something like that, or hire some people that know how to use, make interface, uh, you know, work on coding a little bit better to make the super, super overexposed to make the uh, software work better or something. Just turn it back off. But um, yeah, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to visit the merch store to buy yourself some channel merch. Design came out excelente. Another great one for the sawgrass. Guys, we are like two for two. Actually, we're like three for two right now. Every single thing that we've done on this thing has come out pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty flawless. I'd say, all right, and I'm just winging this stuff. This is my first, I, like I've never used this machine before. They just sent it to me in the mail. I was intimidated by it. I dove in, took a little bit of a while. Now I know how to work the settings. I'm showing you guys how to work the settings so you guys don't have to go through what I went through. And guys, look at this. This is like Versace. <laughs> this is like Versace. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Use my Amazon link. Use my heat transfer warehouse links. Buy all your supplies. Make sure you guys catch that sale before it's over so you get 10% off of that Embro, however you pronounce it, um, uh, vinyl. Make sure you guys are always buying your vinyl from heat transfer warehouse using my links down below because they have the best prices, as I showed you guys in previous videos. And share these videos, guys. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. It's your boy, Alan Wade. Visit the merch store. Help yourself buy yourself some channel merch. Subscribe, um, follow me on Instagram, Adub Productions. Follow me on Facebook, Adub Productions. And King Adub on, also on Facebook. I'll talk to you guys next one. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?